Here's Johnny. <laughs> what is up, guys? And I always wanted to start a commentary off like that. Just make the intro uh, from an old movie called The Shining. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's an old horror movie. Classic. Um, I just always want to start a commentary like that. Like, make the intro that. But other than that, what is up, guys? And today I'm bringing you guys a domination on Terminal using the M4. And I'm kind of using some different guns just because the, um, right now it's double weapon XP, I believe, on all systems. So, you know, I'm kind of messing around using some goofy guns. And, you know, I don't think the M4 is really a goofy gun. But, you know, I'm just leveling up a lot of uh, different guns that I don't normally use. And, you know, just trying to get them to uh, the max level. So, yeah. Before we get into anything uh, in particular in this commentary... Uh, Go ahead, guys, and follow me on Twitter because Twitter is a good way to keep in touch with me, and I pretty much always respond to people who talk to me on Twitter. And it's just, just you just gotta do it because if you don't follow me on Twitter, you're gonna get attacked by a walrus. I don't know, but just go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you guys haven't yet. Uh, really would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so what is up with me I am currently on a 304 win streak I believe which is the highest win streak I have gotten on any Call of Duty all the way going back to Modern Warfare 2 and uh, I know a couple of my friends were well not really a couple of them just Dempsey uh, a guy who I know I'm playing with in this game doesn't think my win streak is legitimate right now but uh, all I have to say to him is uh, you know suck it because uh, <laughs> Um, a, lot, a lot of people don't know, I was on a win streak a long time ago when this game first came out, and it was like a 284, and I'll be completely honest with you guys, uh, I dashboarded to keep that win streak, uh, I think I did it two or three times, if not maybe a little bit more, just to keep that win streak, and I was kind of ashamed of myself after the fact that, you know, I dashboarded to keep a win streak, and, um, you know, I promised myself I'd never do it again, and I won't do it any other Call of Duty or any time in the future. And uh, my win streak right now is completely legitimate. I'm pretty much playing with uh, uh, Yosh, um, Yosh partner. His name is Jaguar. I've spent most of my time playing with him to get this win streak. He is a pretty big beast on the win-loss scene for sure. And, uh, you know, I've been playing a lot of Domination, but I also play quite a bit of Sabotage because Sabotage is really easy wins. Since there's a spawn timer on um, Sabotage, like when you die, a respawn timer, um, all you have to do is kill like two or three people right off the start of the game. Go ahead and, you know, the rest of your team moves in and covers you while you plant the bomb. And, you know, they can't really do much about it because, you know, they're, they're respawning in. They have a timer to wait for. So, Sabotage is really easy wins. You can almost end the game pretty much from one to two minutes as long as you're not facing like a really try-hard team. And, uh, yeah. A lot of people ignore the objective in that game mode, so it's really easy to pull off wins. I'm, I'm telling you, you could probably get about 20 wins, if not maybe 30 wins, within an hour of just playing that. So, um, it really is good wins if you're going for like a win streak or trying to work on your win loss, which mine is skyrocketing at the moment, and I'm really happy about that because it's kind of what I pride myself on is my win loss ratio. And, uh, yeah. So, what I want to talk about today is something that's kind of. You know, I've kind of been thinking about lately, and it kind of started off by um, me realizing that school starts again soon for me. Um, I am Canadian, and I'm pretty sure people in America, school may have already started or is starting this week. Or I think school, I think a couple schools have actually already started, or at least high schools have. I'm not sure about college universities, but uh, my schooling starts in about two to three weeks. Uh, we always, you know, start, um, we always end like two or three weeks later than the U.S., but our summer is always like extended like two or three weeks after the fact. So I'm going back to school for my final year of high school. I believe they call it seniors in America. We don't actually have names for our years in high school. We just call them grade 9, 10, 11, and 12. And this is actually my final year in high school, and it's kind of crazy how the time has flown by. If you guys have already been in high school and passed, did the time really just not fly or like if you guys aren't in high school yet or you're not done high school just just enjoy the time I guess you could say you have because uh, the time really flies especially when you I think it's I want to say that like the older you get the like the faster time goes it just kind of feels that way I, I know there's an old saying for that and I just couldn't remember it right now but it's kind of how it feels um, so something that kind of freaked me out a little bit was the fact that uh this is my last year of high school, and then I move on to, you know, 
pretty much going into college university and or you know going into the workforce and getting a job for myself and you know chances are within the next year or two I'm gonna be moving out so that's pretty crazy uh, to think about that you know it feels like just yesterday I was going into my first year of uh, high school you know just kind of uh, not knowing what was going on being at the bottom of the food chain and you know just you know it, it's just crazy how the time went by but um Although, since it is my last year of high school, I've heard a lot of people tell me that your last year of high school is actually your funnest, which is, uh, hopefully that's true, because my my last year of high school was kind of boring. Um, I have never really been a huge fan of school. Uh, I always kind of find it kind of boring, but um, that's just me. I don't really do bad in school. I just don't find it that interesting, but hopefully this year is a bit different. And what I wanted to ask you guys, if... If you guys thought about this yet, because I know I kind of waited a while for me, or, uh, sorry, I've known this for a while, what I want to do when I get out of high school. Um, what are you guys going to do? What, what do you guys want your future to be? You guys have, like, a specific job you're going for? Me, I'm going to become a police officer in police foundations as soon as I get out of high school, and I'm looking forward to that. So, tell me, guys, what do you guys plan on having as your first job? Or if you already have one, leave it in the comments, because I'm actually interested and want to know what a lot of people do for jobs. So, here is my weekly stats. This is day three. My, I have a 39 win loss this week and a 7.31k 